up. Um, this is what we're doing right now. We're going out to see how close we can get to that buffalo. That one. Um, yeah. I'm leaving my car door open. And just in case you have to sprint back, that's not a terrible idea. Oh my god. We're downwind. I don't know if that helps. It can't hurt though. I'll, I'm just gonna stand here and do this for you. <laughs> Why don't you have your camera with you? <laughs> Hopefully that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> Oh my god. This might be the last time I ever see you. <laughs> nope. You can smell him. He, uh, look, he right. Look. I saw it. Because it was one, like, he went up really quick. Oh, yeah. It was really. And then he just did the turn and the look. And that was. The key, that was the sign. That was the sign. That's... You know, there's an understanding there with nature. Like, it didn't need to just immediately impale me. It just needed to give me the, you know. Don't come any closer at all. Right, that's alive. close enough, dude. How close were you, you think? I could gauge it there, and that was no more than 10 feet away. That's what I was guessing, 10 feet. Yeah. That was incredible. We yeah. should have our own wildlife nature show. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool route. Next up, a, a freaking geyser. A geyser, yeah, so, and that's kind of sounding lame now, so. No, it is That's kind of the level. I'm it's, just I'm just giving you a, like a level of how awesome this was. Right, but once you get there, it was gonna raise the bar. Right, I mean, the geyser will not disappoint in any way, shape, or form. Next up, boiling water.